Well, I grew up with French cuisine. I love the food, I love the culture. It inspires me. This is gonna be our calamari and octopus, one of the most popular dishes on our menu. Saute potatoes, roasted heirloom tomatoes, calamari, sous vide octopus that we put on the grill. Then we have calabrese oil. It's one of the staples here at Maverick. I'm Ariel. Francisco. Nice Very to meet you. Very good to meet you. Well, welcome to Maverick. I think yes. the best way to start your visit is with a little bit of champagne. Perfect, my favorite yes. drink. This is a blend of Chardonnay, Pinot Meunier, and Pinot Noir. That is a very generous pour, thank you. <laughs> it is good, you have to have a, uh, exactly. the right amount of champagne. All right, will you be joining me? I feel like it's only right. I had a glass ready for me. You are. <laughs> Perfect, well, cheers. All right, cheers. Maverick, we are a French uh, brasserie, so definitely we will focus a lot on uh, French producers. We really want on the seller, so having sustainable practice and being organic or being biodynamic, this holistic approach to, to winemaking, it is very important for us. So is it difficult to find that? Like, it is, it takes a lot of work. You have yeah. to go through a lot of wines, <laughs> taste plenty of wines, but it is not impossible. It takes a little bit of work no, and time. No bottle is wasted. Exactly. <laughs> We're drinking champagne. Uh -huh. What would you pair with the champagne? Here at Maverick, I will say schnitzel, first beautiful with champagne. Uh -huh. uh, so whenever you have something that is strange, uh, something that is uh, fried, as the schnitzel is, mm -hmm. uh, champagne goes very well with it. This has been amazing, thank you so much. Yeah, you're very welcome. Please enjoy what we have here yeah. and enjoy the champagne. Cheers. Cheers. How are yeah, you? I'm doing Peter. well. Good. Just good to meet you. Yeah. Welcome. It's Thank you fun. so much for having me. Of course. Yes, I've We're heard so many good things. Francisco told me yeah. I need to try the schnitzel. <laughs> the schnitzel <laughs> are, are tip our hat to the Alsatian heritage of a brasserie. So what led you to creating this wonderful restaurant? So we wanted to do a brasserie because brasseries are fun, they're casual. There's a lot of French influence in the food, but they're really international in scale. Of, and so we're not French and we're not Alsatian, we're Texans. Exactly. And so all we can do kind is bring be, it all together. Yeah. Wow, Some of our beautiful. Showstoppers this is our schnitzel with a lemon butter caper sauce. It's an arugula salad with pomegranate vinaigrette. And this is uh, our octopus and calamari, very kind of French countryside. This is maybe one of the most popular things, right, Brandon? For sure. It's a showstopper, <laughs> and you know, it's just a great example of, a, you know, kind of how we want our guests to feel after they leave. You know, full and happy, and like it's a, it's a celebratory kind of meal, and you share it. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. And the calamari. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. It's good. Perfect. We really care about the quality of our food and. The hospitality experience is just as important as the yeah. food. Some people consider it fine dining. We just think it's good dining. Good you know? dining. It's, it's fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. This is the place to be in San Antonio now. I think so. Downtown, I mean, this area. I love the concept. I love what you've done with this space. I don't know if it's like making a movie, but you're telling a story. Exactly. So you want to be able to, for people to ha have an experience in the space. Mm -hmm. 